When I designed this doll, there was a need for the little black girl to, to really have something she could play with that looked like her. I wanted her just to reflect the total look of a black woman. Talk about a legend there. Welcome back. That was a clip of our next guest from the new documentary, Black Barbie. Celebrating the impact that three black women at Mattel had on the evolution of the Barbie brand. And through their stories, we learned how the first black Barbie came to be. And here to tell us more is the creator of the first black Barbie herself, Kitty Black Perkins. Thank you so much for being with us. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. You must be so proud of yourself and your team that was behind the Barbie. What was it like to revisit that time? Was it emotional? It was very emotional. I have to tell you, it took me way back because I have been, um, I have been retired from Mattel for about 20 years. So seeing everyone, um, just remembering back, the things that we went through when we were developing Black Barbie was absolutely emotional. And I love your story because when you were a child, your parents couldn't afford to buy a doll for you, so you never had a Barbie. And your first Barbie that you bought, you bought it for the interview that landed you your dream job. Tell us about that. I did. I went and I public, uh, uh, purchased a doll. And at this point, I can't tell you exactly which one because the first thing I did was I took the clothes off and I started making patterns. And I went to the interview, they gave me directions on what they wanted to see. And I felt like I followed those directions the way that I was supposed to. And um, I went and I bought the finest of silks. I did everything right. I took it back to Mattel and they said, I'm sorry. I did not get the job. After working on that doll for a whole week, I said to myself, I cannot do anything else. I have got to get this job. My mom had always told me that when someone rejects you or tells you no, just move on. I said to myself, I'm not moving on. I called back for a second chance. I said, look, I was given the wrong direction. I think I deserve a second chance. And they did, they gave me a second chance. And look at where we are now. Oh, I absolutely, I took a, another week. Instead of doing one doll, I did six. I took them back, they hired me on the spot, and they put the whole six dolls in the line that year. That's such so an So I was incredible. so, so pleased. And I'm so glad that I ignored my mom's suggestion, just move on. <laughs> and you didn't just do one, you did six. And I you took did all six. six. So I incredible. did six. What are you hoping that people take away when they watch this documentary and hear about this story? I hope that when they watch the documentary, they realize the change that we've gone through with Black Barbie, because she was designed in 1979. Mm. She was on the market in 1980, and we are now getting the recognition um, for Black Barbie that should have been in 1980. And I believe the reasoning being is because of the Barbie movie and Barbie was so popular and it was, it was timing. Timing is everything mm -hmm. and it's the right time. Thank you so much for being here with oh, us today. I, I am so pleased just sitting talking to you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And all of you have to check out Black Barbie. It's streaming right now on Netflix. What an honor.